And no, this isn't about just avoiding diabetes in 20 years. If you nodded yes to more than one of those, then it's definitely time to dig deeper. Insulin resistance matters even if you don't have diagnosed diabetes or high blood glucose yet. These 15 symptoms might mean your body is screaming out for help and you don't even realize it. And here's the thing. Some insulin resistance symptoms can be really obvious. Well, some are pretty sneaky. Let's start with the sneakiest symptoms first. Number one is cracked heels even if you moisturize. If you have dry, thick skin on your heels, maybe it's even cracking, bleeding, or painful. That's not just dry weather or the fact that you haven't had a pedicure in a while. That could be a sign of metabolic dysfunction. Number two is waking up between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Do you fall asleep easily but find that you're waking up in the middle of the night, usually between that 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. hour? That could be your blood sugar crashing, triggering a cortisol spike to bring it back up. And when that cortisol comes up, you wake up. Number three is skin tags. These are little growths of skin, sometimes on the neck, underarms, could be on the bra line or on the eyelids. They're really common, not dangerous, but they are linked to insulin resistance. Number four are dark velvety skin patches, also known as acanthosis nigricans. These show up as soft, slightly darker patches of skin, usually on the neck, chest, or underarms. These often go unnoticed because they kind of gradually show up, but they are tied to high insulin levels and hormone changes. Number five is digestive issues like bloating or constipation. Insulin resistance contributes to inflammation all throughout the body, including the gut. So if you feel puffy, bloated, or you're backed up regularly, blood sugar might be playing a role here. Number six is having a lot of mood swings or getting hangry really fast. If you go from, I'm fine, to don't talk to me unless you have a snack really quick, then that's not just your personality, that is your insulin and your glucose talking. Number seven, fatigue after meals. If you want to crawl under your desk to take a nap after you have lunch, that's your glucose, that's your insulin. That's a classic sign that your cells aren't using insulin properly and aren't able to shuffle energy where it needs to go when it needs to go. Number eight is intense sugar or carb cravings. This is not just that you have a sweet tooth. When your body is in a spike crash cycle, it keeps demanding more fast fuel. This usually comes in the form of sugar or refined carbs. Number nine is belly fat that won't budge. Even if you're not really overweight, stubborn fat around your waistline is a big sign of insulin resistance. And it's one of the first places it shows up. Number 10 is brain fog. If you feel like you're constantly walking through a mental fog, you're unfocused, you're forgetful, you're just off. Insulin resistance could be behind it. Your brain needs a steady flow of energy and this messes with that. Number 11 is PCOS, otherwise known as polycystic ovarian syndrome. Up to 70% of women with PCOS have insulin resistance, even if they've never been told that. It can disrupt hormones and ovulation and fertility big time. Number 12 is trouble losing weight, even if you're doing everything right. If you're eating clean and working out and tracking everything and you're still not seeing any results, your metabolism could be stuck in insulin resistant mode. This is when calories in, calories out doesn't always cut it. Number 13, poor sleep or not feeling rested. This could be that you're not able to sleep well, you're very restless, or that you wake up really groggy, tired, feeling unrested, even after you've had a full eight hours of sleep. This could be your nervous system reacting to blood sugar swings all throughout the night. Number 14, low libido or irregular cycles. Insulin affects your sex hormones, so when it's off, it affects your cycle regularity, your ovulation, and your libido. And for men, if you're having any erectile dysfunction, this could be the culprit. And number 15, high blood pressure or high triglycerides. These are often picked up when you go in for your regular checkup or when you get a routine blood panel done, but they're rarely ever tied back to insulin resistance or metabolic dysregulation. These are part of a bigger metabolic picture, so when we start to take care of that, your blood pressure can come down without medications and your triglycerides will go back into the normal range as well. So did you recognize any of these symptoms in yourself? If you nodded yes to more than one of those, then it's definitely time to dig deeper. And no, this isn't about just avoiding diabetes in 20 years. Insulin resistance affects your energy, your mood, your hormones, your fertility, literally everything. If you're worried you have insulin resistance, make sure that you don't just have your hemoglobin A1C and your fasting glucose checked. Have your doctor check your fasting insulin and your C-peptide as well. Hope that video was helpful for you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.